Okay, so hello everyone, I'm back. Oh, I can't talk. Hello everyone, I'm back and I know I look a mess right now. I just came from outside from planting my garden. I might put a little snippet in here if I feel like editing that. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But I'm basically going to practice making... Oh, wait, is it recording? So I guess this is like a little studio vlog, so... I don't think I did an intro, but... Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, you should totally subscribe. If you're not new, then coming back. Okay, so... I'm about to hit 1,000 subscribers. <sighs> Very exciting. Um. It took me a long time, like years, just to get to a thousand. So I'm very excited for that. But I think I'm going to take the big step in starting my business. Today is March 31st. No, no, I'm only March. March, Brianna, get it together. It is May 31st. And it is May 31st. And I think I'm going to take the step and start my business. So um, I'm in my room. I made a watercolor binder. I want to make like those pretty metallic watercolors. Like, let me show you. So, it's this company that I ordered from, and they're called um, Hydrocolor. They're based in Tampa, Florida, and they sell these pretty metallic watercolors, like this, like that. And they're so pretty on paper and I love these and they put like a little magnet at the bottom so you can like take them to a pen and I was thinking about making them I tried to make some before but I didn't do it right I didn't know that you have to layer it like you have to like mix it all together and then like put in a layer after that dries down because when they dry down they dry down flat so you have to like layer it up over the course of days so it takes a long time to make these I order some mica pigments because you need mica pigments i ordered some mica pigments like months ago and i tried making them and it didn't really turn out that great and i still have some leftover like watercolor container things so i think i'm going to practice making them and i didn't have i didn't mold it i didn't know you had to mold paint so i bought a piece of glass yesterday from lowe's um i just bought some basic glass and I got like a pretty decent size so like if I want to make a bulk amount then but like if I want to make a bulk amount then I have a lot of space to work with and that was only six dollars I thought it was gonna be like 50 I don't know why I just thought glass was gonna be expensive I have a lot of these I ordered it was my first time ordering but they are magnetic so they stick together but I have like a lot of but I think I should show you um, how they look on watercolor paper. I've been doing a lot of research over the past couple of months on how to make these. And I feel like now is the time to like start because I'm like we're in quarantine. So um, why not? I think I need a lot of mica powder. So I found this website. They have a lot of pretty pigments and I'm pretty sure you can mix them. And make new colors so I'm gonna order from there I don't know if I'm gonna do that at night because I just made a big order today I'm trying to budget but I ordered a ring light and I know you're like oh my gosh a ring light I ordered one of the big ring lights not like the little ones you use for your phone I ordered a big ring light so cuz I'm like I just hit I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit a thousand next week but I ordered a big green light because that's my gift for like hitting a thousand and I'm going to invest back into my YouTube channel for better lighting because I really don't have any light right now, okay? So I'm using my LED lights, that's where my room is pink. That's that, but other than the glass, I made a watercolor binder, which is what you need to bind the mica pigments and the, that's it, you need to bind it um, in the water. But I made a watercolor binder like months ago. Like I made this watercolor binder in February. February 18th. And 
I haven't used it yet. This is how it looks. I don't know if that's mold. That's not mold. It looks like mold, but it's not because it's like moving. But um, it's like a really thick, you can see it's like yellow, but this is what's gonna bind the watercolor together. And I put, I don't know if I should tell you what I put, it's a secret formula. But it's basically gum Arabic. This is the gum Arabic. I don't think it's gonna focus. Okay, yes it is. This is the gum Arabic and um, I bought this off of Amazon a while back. So I think I'm gonna practice molding. Cause I bought this little, okay, I know I'm talking a lot, but this is the start of my business. Like I plan on going places. Like I wanna start simple with something I can make simple, like little paints. And then I wanna start making candles because I really love candles. And um, it's gonna be like a stationary business. Like, you know, like stuff for your office, like candles, um, paints, like if you're an art person, I want to have notebooks, you know, like stickers, mainly stickers because I have a Cricut machine right there. And yeah, so I'm super excited. I'm going to start taking this seriously because I've had a website for like, I've had a website for like three years. Wait, no. Four years. And I haven't did nothing with it. Like it used to be a blog, but like it wasn't getting that much traffic. So I think I would just turn it into a shop. It's gonna be hard trying to advertise it because I mean nobody knows about my website, and I don't want to like go on Etsy if I already have a website. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm paying for this, so I think I might do ads on Instagram, you know, or Facebook, you know, advertise so I could get more customers. So yeah, but I really hope this works. Like I made this binder, um, just mixed a whole bunch of stuff together. So I hope this will bind it. Cause the old water, let me show you the old watercolors I made. Cause they look like trash. Oh my gosh, these are so bad. And they're super hard. Like from those watercolors, like from those watercolors, like you can tell the difference, like Oh, I'm talking so much. Okay. So I'm gonna compare it to, it don't matter. But these are the ones I made. Oh, why did it get brighter? They look like this. Okay, it's not gonna focus, but, um, but they are super hard. Like, they just look like trash. So, and then these, you will see the difference, okay? Look how smoother they look compared to these. Like, do you see how smooth that looks? And this just looks like a rock, so. Um, I mean, they're both hard, but this one's harder. And it just doesn't, I don't know, but it does, like, do pretty. So, yeah. I have some pigments, but I don't think that's enough. I think these are, like, little samples. So... I bought like a bigger size, so I'm gonna use that, but I made a lot of like, this one correct are good, but it's, it's good to go through trial and error before you actually mess up, you know? This one actually came out pretty good, so. I don't know, I might use that, but I'm gonna show you all these, but I have like a business idea, like, I've been looking up swatches and stuff to like, cause I want to sell them as sets, but I also want to sell them individually. So like, I'm going to make like some sets and like some individual, but all the sets are going to be like, um, they, all the colors are going to look good together, you know? So yeah, let's get started with, um, binding i also forgot to mention that um i got this glass molar i don't know if it's that really good quality but i got this glass molar from joann's it was on a set and it also came with some pigments so um yeah we're gonna just test out it and see what it does okay so i got some pigments i got these pigments off of amazon so um yeah 
Um, we're just going to choose. We're going to choose um, this color because this is pretty. So, um, I'm going to just pour the whole thing because I don't know how much powder I need. I probably should be wearing a mask. But yeah, so I'm just going to pour this on the glass. Very pretty. Okay, so um, now we're going to take some of this watercolor bar. I'm kind of scared because... Um, I hope it doesn't smell bad. Okay, so now we're gonna take some of this watercolor binder. Okay. So this is how it looks. It doesn't, it doesn't, it smells like glue, so that's good. I thought it was gonna like smell sour or something, so. What we're going to do is we're going to take some of that and I have like a little eyedropper tool and I'm just going to, um, this one and I'm just going to grab some and I'm going to add some drops to it. So I need one of these. So we're just going to, um, them for a minute and I feel like it's ready I'm not sure 
because it says it could it says time can vary so <laughs> Okay, so these are all the paints I have right now. Um, I'm going to see how they dry and then I'll show you how they dry. But that's going to be it for today. And I'm going to be back tomorrow and we're going to see how these paints did. Okay, so I don't know how bright this is, but this is the color. This is like a week later, but this is the color right here. This is how they look. They dry it down like a lot so now that I know that how far they dry down see all of them literally dry down low see they all dry down low so now that I know what to do I have to layer these because see how low they get so I have to make multiple layers and then yeah so I'm going to be showing you one. This is the test sheet. So, um, it's really pretty. So, it does work. So, I think I'm going to make the purchase and buy like probably like three colors and just test out those. But I'm just going to um, wet it up. I wonder if I can zoom in some more. Okay, so I'm gonna just give it some water, wet it. Oh, look how pretty that's. That's really pretty. See? And then I'm just gonna um, paint. It's so pigmented. So that's how pigmented these are and they dry down really well like so yeah I just want to end the video off there um I'm gonna upload this right now but um I'm gonna show you like how it looks in the light I was gonna add some more video but it's like really irrelevant to the video so I wasn't gonna add that but 
Um, I'm going to show you how they look in the light and how they change. Ooh. You see how these over here, this one's still wet, but you see how they shine? They are really pretty, but once they dry down like these, ooh, they look so pretty in the light. Like, they, wow. Okay, so that's how this one's going to look, but it's, as you can see, it's really pigmented. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed my first studio vlog. I know I do talk a lot. Um, I'm aware, but, you know, it is what it is. And if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch it. But um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe. I'm going to be posting more art-related videos. Like, um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Please follow me on my Instagram. I'm going to put it on the screen. And... Yeah, I will see you in my next video.